So moving right along into what I was talking about, we're talking about the groups of people who look like us that are making it harder for all the rest of us because we, because let's be honest, you got to cover both sides. I'm going to talk about some of the unfairness, but I want to talk about some of the stuff that we can improve too. All these babies, like you only have these women that have babies with guys because they know they got money. And so now, now they acting like witches trying to take them for everything he got. That got to stop too. That got to stop. Especially if you the type you had it all planned out. Like you got to stop taking these guys there's good guys to these courts for child support get out there if, okay if you if you if you want to be supported then you got to present yourself like a wife and hopefully somebody will marry you but if you not wife material i mean what i mean why don't you okay all of you non-wife material black women right go ahead divest we don't want y'all taking all our money in child support. Go divest. Go to the white man you want. Because some of y'all, that's the problem. You respect white men, but you don't respect black men. Because you, you ain't never seen a successful black man, some of y'all. But you've seen successful white guys, depending on who you dealt with coming up. So it built this negative trait in you. Where when a guy starts to struggle, you start to disrespect. Because in, deep down on the inside of you, you remember all those successful white men. That's the problem, too. All of these groups of people are working against us as a group. And meanwhile, nobody likes us. Nobody likes us. All of them working against us, and meanwhile, nobody likes us. Thug life is working against us. You think you selling keys, you, you're going to get indicted. They just indicted like 30 people. Gone. It's over for them. It's over for them. Stealing cars, they're going to catch you. Over for you. Thug life does not benefit. The only women that see you as cool is women with mental issues, insecurities, low self-esteem. Women that's been raised right, they ain't gonna like you. You ain't gonna even sniff that. Unless they trying to rebel against their parents. The, the real women don't like you. So who you trying to impress? Then he's doing, I'm on the run. I'm on the run. Why you on the run? Because ain't no guns in jail? Why not change the way you live? You see, all of these people make it hard for guys that's doing right. Now you, you done ran through all these chicks. They all messed up in the head. And now this dude who ain't even no troublemaker and done changed his life or the, um, or the living a good life can't even find a woman. Because all of you low self-esteem pookies with long wing dings that you've been stretching out since you was a kid watching porn at seven. You can learn how to jack, but you can't learn them books. All of these people are the problem. All of them. Let me see what this is back here. What's this showing back here? Let me see. I don't need no emblem showing. Castle culture people are the problem too. You, you, nobody ever taught you about God. You always rejected God. So now you trying to embrace immoral ideals. 
your problem for all the rest of us. Because then they be at these jobs. So uh, what do you think about this? Why you ask me that? No, that's all you got to say. And they permanently, they, they'll hold a grudge, grudge against you if they don't agree with you. They're going to hold a grudge against you if you shut them down. Why are you asking me this? We at work. Now they holding a grudge against you. Or, well, I just believe in morals. I don't believe in all that weirdo stuff. They holding a grudge against you. People quick to hold grudges are a problem as well. I got, I'm going to tell you, I got people on my Facebook. I ain't never got into them. We ain't never threw hands in the fight or nothing. Never had no no type of issues with them. But now for some reason they hold grudges. I don't know if it's Trump, the Trump stuff or what it is. But I know a grown man holding grudges. Stop talking about God because you childish as hell. I hate when people try to, oh, I like to thank God. They talking like they so spiritual, but they childish and immoral. They only spiritual when it's convenient. Those are a problem, too. Fake church people that never confront nothing. Cowards problem. All of these people we mentioned it are making it harder for the for us as a group. Church people, man, work it out. Meanwhile, your life is just drifting away because you were with the wrong person. All type of problems. You with somebody that just always want to play it safe instead of chasing things that will make things better for y'all you, as a group. And people telling you, man, just work it out, man. Work work it out. Just work it out. Work what out? When, I think sometimes that be them just trying to get in your business deeper. They want you to tell them what's going on. None of your business. All of these people mention problems. Problems. They taking the, us as a group. And they smashing us into the ground. Thug life. You killed that. You killed that dude, big brother, just because he wasn't scared of you. And now he's rebelling because his best friend in life is gone because of you and your fake thuggery. And I know people like this, so I know I'm telling the truth. Wanna be thugs trying to shoot people over everything. They ought to ship you somewhere far out where everybody like you and make y'all fend for yourself. But they ain't gonna do that because they want you to kill the, the rest of us. And you doing it. Bang, bang, bang. Shot dude there. Er Nobody saw his face because he had a mask on like a freaking coward. He got to make sure he don't go to jail because when you take that gun out of his hands, he ain't nothing. A lot of them. They ain't nothing. Take them guns and all them people that's going to kick and stump and sucker punt, you ain't nothing. And real men ain't going to get mad at this truth. A real man is going to say he right. What can I do to, to change how I am? You a coward. You scared of you scared to go against your so-called friends. You're going to see how much of your friends they are if you get that bid. Your so-called friends will be snitching on you. It'll be their idea. You did this part. And they want to talk about the part you did. Real friends ain't going to get you locked up. And that's another thing. People who need friends so bad. You got a lot of people with brothers and sisters at home. Acting depressed and lonely. Man, hang with your brother. 
Develop relationships with your sisters. You trying to be friends with these fools. And all of it, part of the problem. But we're going to stop here. We're going to stop here. We're going to stop here. But we ain't done. We got more videos to come, y'all. This is the truth, man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simping, All Subjects, son.